Hi guys. So in this video, I wanted to speak about what it means to suspend the head. And we'll talk about what it doesn't mean. Uh, this is an error that I did in my early part of my journey. To suspend the head, in, let's talk about standing for now, can also apply to your form. To suspend the head doesn't mean to drive your head up, kind of pushing your head up to try and get that, the back of your neck to be straight and you know, tucking in the chin. This would be an error. Rather, what it does mean is to suspend the head, funny enough. And the way I like to teach that idea is that you imagine a cable from the ceiling attaching to the martial crown of your head. So the back of your skull here. And if you attach that cable to your head and then you sit on the bar stool, like when we're doing the standing set, for example, then the spine will stretch away from that suspension of the head. You're creating a traction of the spine, an opening of the spine. So if you think about your spine like a spring, and we attach that spring to the cable, and you sit away, you'll get a feeling throughout your entire spine, from the cervical spine, the thoracic, lumbar, down to the sacrum, from the top of your head to the base of your, your, your spine, you'll get a gentle stretch. It's a lovely stretch. And this will open up the pathway for when you're trying to release and soar, and open up all the gaps in the vertebrae, all the tension that you're carrying in your back. This is a lovely qigong for the spine if you do it correctly. Now, other than a qigong, it's the beginning of how to use the spine to produce power, martial power, like fajin, or one of the mechanics. So if that's something that you're interested in, you can contact me and we can talk about that further.